and we shall explore what the world down under has to offer. And I really need to stop saying uh because uh is just awful. There's so many things I'm just like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, what's that? What are you? What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today I am back with some more Manz's Mad World for you guys. So yeah, today um, I have a couple things on my agenda, and also I did switch back to my normal skin because it is no longer Halloween, and uh, I totally forgot to put my hat back on. Alright, don't mind that. Boom. There we go. I now have my hoodie. Everything is good in the world. Alright, so yeah. Today I have some things on my agenda, which I will be keeping, or I will have an agenda for uh, each video, so yeah, I do have a couple things I need to do in this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's take a look. Now, what I need to do in this episode is I need to go get a rubber tree, and I need to come back and I need to plant several rubber trees because... That is going to be something that is very, very important. You need rubber for like 900 different things in this mod pack, or really any mod pack. So, yeah, I need to go find those. I need to get power so that I can power a grinder, which will double my ores. All right, I need that. Oh, great, it just tabbed me out. All right, next thing I have to do after that is I am going to do some underground exploration, and we're going to go down... And we are going to take a look at the underground biomes, because there are underground biomes, and uh, I don't know, it's it looks really, really cool, so I'm going to do that, and I might get around to the farms, I'm not too sure. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, I keep saying um, I say too much um. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start with going out to find a rubber tree, which... Could be off in really any direction, but I'm just going to go in this direction because it's the only one I haven't seen yet. And I really want to see what this world has to offer. Alright, we got a lot of water, a lot of donkeys. Now, I'm not too sure what rubber tree I'm looking for at this point. I don't know which mod adds in the rubber trees. I don't know which one it is. Because um, there are several different mods that that do several different uh, rubber trees. Oh, great. I am sort of expecting the mine factory one. Aha! Rubber tree! Yep, this is a mine factory rubber tree, I think. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to tap it for this resin, which you can cook into rubber. Um, I'm not going to tap it for that. I'm just going to get some saplings. I'm going to bring it back to a base. Alright. Alright, we only got one sapling, one rubber tree sapling. Is that it? That was that was really it. Okay. So this uh, sticky resin is what you would um what you would harvest these trees for. So yeah. It's pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright. So I have a rubber tree now, and uh, I can go back to the base and grow it. And all that lovely stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm going to head back. And and uh, I'm probably gonna cut it out. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when I get back to base. Alright guys, well I have made it back to base, back to my lovely cave of just emptiness at the moment. Um, and the sun is setting, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get my butt in gear here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plant this rubber tree sapling right here and um... I'm also going to go down into the cave and get the skeleton bones that I have collected from the multiple skeletons I have killed. If I still have them. Do I not have them? Oh well, I guess I don't have any. I swear, I had some. I swear I had some. Okay, I guess I don't have any. Um, see so yeah, uh... <laughs> I guess that concludes the rubber tree uh, thing for today. And I really need to stop saying uh because uh is just awful. It's an awful thing for a commentator to say. Alright, so I guess the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go do some underground exploration. And I know it's not number two on the list. And some of you guys are going to be like, uh 
why aren't you doing this in like sequential order or whatever? I'm I'm sitting here. I'm just like because the grinder. I don't know what I'm gonna do for power yet. I don't know any of that stuff. And I might have to get the farms going before I get the power going because some of the power sources are like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm going to go down and we're going to explore the underground biomes. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna go put the, some of this uh, stuff back because I don't want to have my inventory so full. Okay, so I'm going to just collect a couple of food items before I go down, and then I will go down into the depths and we shall explore what the world down under has to offer. All right, I think that should be enough um, for now. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to head down into the cave. Um, that I have picked out, because I have picked out a cave. And yeah, let me go ahead and let me make some torches so I don't go down there completely unprepared, like a noob. Okay, and then bam, half a stack of torches, that should be okay for now. And yeah, so this cave that I want to go down is like right over here. Um, it's a very, very big drop, and I just, I want to see what's down there. Mm, is it this one? It is this one, Okay. So, I'm basically just going to YOLO whatever dive it into that water. Alright. I don't know what that noise was. Don't pay any attention to it. Okay. Alright, guys. New ores. So many new ores. And we do have a uh, cave down there, which is very nice. What is this? This is black quartz ore. Ooh. Sounds very scary. Sounds very scary. Alright. Oh, we got some more black quartz. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, I'm also going to take one of you, and I'm going to put a torch in you. Very nice. Okay, look how many ores we have. Wow. Okay, so this was a very good idea to go down. Um, I don't know if I was lied to about the underground biomes. I'm pretty sure there are underground biomes. So, yeah, we just have to look enough, and there are so many different things. We got gold already, guys. Look at that. Okay, I don't have any uh, anything. Take care of this uh, creeper thingy with. What's this guy? What are you? The heck are you? Oh goodness! What the heck? <laughs> what was that? I'm so confused. I know where I ended up. I just <laughs> what? What? That was so ineffective. That was awesome. Alright, let's get some more of this black quartz. I'm not too sure what it's used for, but it's gotta be useful, right? It's black quartz. It's got an awesome name like that. How can it not be useful? Alright, so uh, let's just grab some of this, uh, what I can only guess is like silver or tin ore. Okay, tin and copper are probably the uh, two most vital ores in this, uh, apart from uh, basic iron. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get a lot of those. Maybe over, like, a stack of them. Alright, I'm probably going to break some of, like, not some of this, but a lot of this, I'm probably going to break up into just different mining segments. So, yeah, I guess I will just keep recording here, and if anything interesting happens, you guys will know. So, yeah. Here, here. Oh, right, guys. Well, I have found some friends up here. It's... Ugh, okay, this is why I made the shield, because I know I can't take on a ton of skeletons right now. Especially with armor like that, whatever that armor is. Okay. What is that armor? This is steel armor. Okay, it looks nice. Um, I guess I'll keep that on for now. Oh, and we got another guy. Oh, we got so many. Oh, we got a creep. Creepers! And we got we got another skeleton! What's up with this? Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. He's dead. Skeleton. Stop. Stop. Okay. That's two skeleton. Three skeleton. Oh skeleton done. Okay. Jeez. And as you can see, we're starting to get these uh, grass pods, which indicate. Little biomes, alright? So, I'm starting to get into the little biomes. I'm not sure 
um, how to really get into said biomes and explore said underground biomes, but I'm pretty sure all I have to do is dig through the grass. So I'm going to try that, and uh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess that's not a thing. So I guess I just have to keep and... Uh, keep and... I guess I just have to keep on searching for him. I'll keep going through these caves, and uh, if I find an underground biome, you guys will be the first to know. Oh, goodness. What are you wearing? I want to know this. Oh, hit him. Nice. Get wrecked by your own arrow. Alright, you're done. No armor drops, sadly. Okay. Well, Jeez, this is a huge cave. Alright. I'm going to keep going through this cave. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, is this an underground biome? It is! Oh, I found one! Awesome! Okay. Sweet! Oh, uh, yeah. So, they have basically these little rooms, and I love this. This is so cool! Alright. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make some torches. And I'm going to see if there's anything around here, because there might be some, like, chests and stuff. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's see... Oh boy, alright, first underground biome, or little underground oasis, I might call it, I don't know. But yeah, this is really, really cool, and for some reason this guy decided to spawn this far out. I don't know why, but he did. Alright, I love this, this is so cool! Okay, okay, and now there are other, there are so many uh, different types of these guys. There are mushroom variants, there's everything. What is that? There's so many things I'm just like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, what's that? What are you? Resonating ore. Ooh, ooh, I, I know what this is. Okay. I'm going to take that because that is going to be very, very useful in the future. And this is, what? Osmium? Osmium. Nice. All right, let's take, let us take some osmium. All right, so I just wanted to go ahead... I wanted to get a little bit of the uh, underground exploration done, which I would say that that little underground biome right there counts as part of it. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's very cool. I might uh, put a waypoint here because this is, this is a cool little, oh gosh, this is a cool little room and I might want to eventually um, make something down here. So, I'm going to hit B. That's Bobbles. Uh, M. No. Okay. Uh, e. What? What? How do I do this? Okay. Create waypoint is X. Okay. So we're gonna hit X. Get to this menu. Okay. Good. And this is going to be called underground forest. And this underground forest will have a nice green foresty hue. And there we go. We now have the underground forest waypoint on our map. All right. That's very nice. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get back to the food I have cooking up. And I'm going to, again, just keep clearing this cave out of resources. And I guess I'll see you guys back at the surface. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, I am back from my mining expedition uh, with some loot to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you some of the loot that I got. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. And in this chest is basically what I got from that. I pulled out all of this stuff, and also some iron, and actually a lot of copper, so that's very good. It's, that is very, very nice, alright? So, I think for this episode, that is going to be it for the resource collection. Um, but yeah, now I have something even greater to tackle this video now. So, it, 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 words, can I say them? I don't know. <laughs> but yes, I do have something even greater to tackle in this video. <laughs> so yeah, and that that little thing is f oh, farming. There we go, the iron hoe. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to set up all kinds of farms. I'm gonna set up some wheat farms. I'm gonna set up what other farms can I set up? I'm going to set up some cow farms. I'm going to set up maybe some pig farms too, because I got some carrots from the village. And I can grow those and breed the pigs with them. Uh, so, yeah. Also, I do have some bones somewhere. If the bones will uh, come out of their hiding places. Actually, I think I have all my bones on me. Alright. 
And uh, depending on what comes out of this egg, I might even have a chicken farm. So yeah. I'm also, real quick, I'm going to invest in something I probably should have invested in a little while ago, which is a sleeping bag. Do we have them? Sleeping, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. All right, sleep, goodness, goodness, er, goodness. All right, sleeping bag is some wool and some carpet that is very easy to make. And um, let's see if I can go out there and get some, aha, there's a sheep right here. Okay, nice. Very nice. I can go ahead. I can shear this one sheep because his friends didn't want to show up. And I have six, which should be enough. All right. All right. <laughs> I feel like that that sheep should not have um, should not have six wool on him. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to argue. All right. Let's make some carpet and let me make a sleeping bag. And that is all and good and well. And if I come up to the surface now with said sleeping bag, and also I'm going to take this crafting table uh, up there. I'm not too sure why, but I will take it up there. Yeah, so if I take this sleeping bag up here with me, and I give it a right click, I can just sleep on the ground. And it will become morning. Look at that. That is a very lovely thing to have on me. All right. All right, something new, something awesome. Okay, so now I get to tackle the farms. Um, I think, oh goodness, I should really stop saying um. I, I think I should just get a bunch of wood and uh, make some stuff out of that before I go ahead and I, s and I start. Actually, you know what, I'm not going to fence it in. I don't have any reason to fence it in right now. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's plop this crafting table down. I almost said workbench, but that is not what it's called. Alright. So now I get to make myself a fence, and I can also remind myself how to make a fence because uh, the uh, the crafting recipes were changed, and I, I just I don't like it. Okay, there is no question mark, and that greatly saddens me. Uh, but whatever, let's go ahead and let's make that. Okay, so we get some sticks right there. Put the sticks in the middle, and then make some fences. All right. I just said I wasn't going to make any fences yet, I did. So. <laughs> oh, goodness. I have no clue what I'm doing right now, guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just clean up some of this uh, dirty grass. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some wheat seeds out of those. All right, I only have two. I think I have some more in my base or in the storage down here, which is pretty much all this is. This is just storage. All right, we got some seeds. And now it is time to actually get the farms uh, underway. So yeah, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just water bucket out some land, grab the couple extra wheat seeds and also some flowers apparently from Batania, which I don't know if I'm going to do anything in Batania. Um, even though it is a little weird and that's the main goal of this series is basically to find the weirdest things in here and to make my world and to shape it around that. So. Um, I don't know. I, I might actually delve into that. <laughs> I've never really delve, delve in, dove, I've never dove into that before. So I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm gonna do uh, with that. But yeah, for right now, it's going to remain untouched. And yeah. So I'm just going to clear out some land here, just a little bit, so I can have a nice flat uh, ground for my farm. All right, now that I have plenty of dirt to go ahead and store down in those chests, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start making little rows, neat little rows for everything, because everything should be a neat little rows. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be one little neat row, and I'm going to go over one, two, three, four blocks, and I'm going to do another neat little row. All right, and then we're going one, two, three, four, and then another neat little row, and so on and so on. That's how I'm going to structure my whole uh, farm, and uh, this is going to be mainly um, carrots and wheat and potatoes, so it's not going to be stuff like sugarcane, which uh, is going to be structured very differently. I also might... Um, 
Might put down some other crops over here. Maybe some magical crops. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Alright, uh, but... For now, it's just going to be wheat, potatoes, and carrots. Alright, so... Let's see, I'm going to take this back a little bit um, as well. I don't know why I keep saying um. I'm not having trouble coming up with anything to say. It's just that it's a habit at this point, and I really need to kick it. It's a bad habit. Okay, so let's grab this water, and let's go ahead and let's do that. And also, please, no, 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 no. Okay, good. It flew. It flew. It uh, flowed. It flowed. Is that the right word? I think it is. It flowed over the sugar cane. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to... I thought I was going to wipe it away. I was a little afraid. Alright. So let's do another three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And after this... Boom. There we go. Also, I need to replace that. Alright. I think that's going to be the last neat little row I have. And I'm going to dig three blocks over from there. And that will be that. Okay. That looks very nice. Okay, okay. I think I have this figured out. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to complete the whole fence and the whole farm area. And I'm going to till the whole thing and put all the crops and whatnot into it. And yeah, I'm just going to do that off camera because I know you guys don't need to see it. Nor you do you probably want to. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that. And I will see you guys on the other side. Oh, right guys. Well, this is my farm. It's not complete yet it still has some things uh, that are still happening with it so yeah um i'm going to go ahead i'm going to basically show you guys which are what crops and uh, what i'm going to use them for and yeah so let's go ahead let's get started so this over here on the ends um we have some wheat which is actually pretty nice pretty nice and uh, that will be used obviously to bread to bread well, I guess to make bread and to breed cows and sheep. And yeah, also we have carrots here, which will be for food and to breed pigs as well. So yeah, it's pretty much that. And these here in the middle are potatoes, uh, which I don't have many potatoes. Um, yeah, I don't have many potatoes right now, but hopefully this little worm will help me. Because, you know, it acts like a slower bone meal. Basically, what the worms do is they hydrate the soil, which I already have it hydrated. So, you know, it's not really needed for that. But it also kind of works um, to speed up the crop growth. As you can see here, um, this is almost done. And there we go. And you see those green little sparkles around it. Uh, that's basically what this worm is doing. So, it's sitting there and it's growing all the stuff um, a little bit faster than it would normally. So... Yeah, I have a couple of those planted around. So yeah, now the biggest crop I have um, in this farm is going to be this canola uh, place here. So basically, what you can use canola for is you can use that for power. You can make the canola into canola oil, and you can make the canola oil into oil for some reason. I don't know why you can do that, but you can. And then you can use the oil for power. So... That is going to be, you know, a little bit of a power source for me. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to use this for. So, that's, that's basically all the farms. I mean, there's not really much to it. And I do have some uh, sugar canes growing over here, but I'm not going to make a proper farm for those today. So, I know I said I'm going to do um, more with this episode, but I think this is where I'm going to end it off, guys. I know it wasn't... Um, all that I said it was going to be at the beginning, but, you know, things things happen. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get going for today, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, likes, favorites, and whatnot are appreciated. Also, make sure to put in the comments section below um, any power ideas for my base and other things. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.